Hey there, we're gonna have a look at the say command when you're using Minecraft education. All right, here we are at the say command. It is a nice little simple one, similar to the title command. Um, so if you haven't watched that one, um, make sure you check that video out as well. But this kind of sends a message in the game, not kind of like a title message which appears up on the, you know, can take up a lot more of the screen. It is a really simple one to write. It is forward slash say, and then what is it is that your message. Do keep in mind that it is a public message when you send. So with a title message, you can specify. With this one, you can't. If you use it, everyone gets to see it, okay? So let's have a look at how we can use this one in the game. So if you've been following along with, I guess, like the two videos that come before this, which is the video on the enchant command and the video on the clone command, this is going to feel like deja vu and I've done this on purpose. And the reason I've done this on purpose is because if you're following along with the, the teacher, the educational material that you can use to do this in schools, is that we are building on an algorithm. This is an algorithm that's getting more and more complex as we build it. So what we already have set up is from in our previous rooms is that we have a chest. We need to put a diamond in that chest. If we do that and we're holding a crossbow, we get that quick charge um, applied to the crossbow as an enchantment. But because you just traded the um, diamond is that we then run a clone command to replace the chest with a diamond in it with a chest somewhere else in the game that is an empty chest. So you don't get to keep the diamond because that's fair. But what we need to do is that we need to mix this up and also throw in a say message just for a bit of fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down our command block there and we're gonna go forward slash say, and then we're gonna, I don't know, say something like, um, well, this is what's happening, enchanted, uh, crossbow, uh, traded, something like that. This is totally up to you because you can write whatever you want. So, but just keep in mind, that's gonna go to everyone in the game. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a bit of a delay on that, okay? Because we just want this to happen over time. So I'm gonna put down this redstone repeater. I'm gonna pull it back three and that gives me a four tick delay. And then this is what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna need two things here. Let's go with a diamond. And you know what? We might as well just grab the crossbow. Then we can fire it at the end. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hold my crossbow and then I'll kind of stand here like this because it happens quite quickly and you might be able to see all of the, everything kind of trigger. So I'm gonna open this up, but you'll see this last one here over on the right hand side trigger. So I'm gonna place in the diamonds, let's take them out and then off they go. Now up in the top corner there, you'll see it says enchanted crossbow traded. So that come on, just triggered, everything else happened. So this is actually quite a complex algorithm. If you're using the coding cards, so if you're using uh, these packs that go with this, is that this command is a, you know, if a diamond is placed in the chest, then enchant that crossbow to quick charge three, then we want it to pause and then clone the chest with the new empty chest and then say enchanted crossbow traded. So quite a long algorithm that you're running with these three different commands. And then I've got my enchanted crossbow, which means I can quickly reload and have plenty of fireworks. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. It's a bit of fun and we will see you again soon. Cheers.